Hey guys, it's me, the Zombazori here, and we are back with some more WWE 2K22, and I think I'm gonna check out the showcase now, and yeah, let's get into the showcase. The showcase is about Rey Mysterio, um, it talks about, he goes through and talks about, um, his, like, most important mass matches, like, the matches that mean the most to him and his career. So, we're going to go into it, and we're going to check it out, and everything. So, the first thing up, we're going to do Halloween Havoc WCW, WCW Cruiserweight Championship. Rey Mysterio Jr., this is... Versus Eddie Guerrero. Ray risks it all for a chance to become champion again. An all time classic unfolds when it's mask versus championship. Alright. But uh, I did get. Um, I already tried to do this and. Um, yeah, I kind of messed up a little bit because I got to get used to the freaking button mashing. I'm not used to it yet. So, it's going to it's going to take me a little while. So, right now I'm going to do the intro. All right. So, I'm going to play the video thing that talks about the intro. So, in a universe populated by monsters, giants, and larger than life beings, I was determined to find my own path to the top of the mountain in sports entertainment. I wasn't gifted with superhuman size or strength, but I did have an insatiable thirst to learn, the physical gifts to take to the air, and an uncle who was more than happy to give me the tools needed to become one of the greatest competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. Starting my career in Mexico, I'd be known first as La Lagartija Verde, which means the green lizard, and Colibri, hummingbird. Still a teenager, I would eventually earn the highest honor from my uncle as I was officially crowned Rey Mysterio Jr. I would take everything I had learned from my uncle and make it all my own. I would bring Lucha Libre to the world stage. I would make cruiserweights as popular as our heavyweight counterparts. And I would prove that a cruiserweight could win it all as long as they were given the opportunity. I would arrive in America, first stopping in ECW, before garnering the attention from the top people at WCW, who quickly signed me to a contract. With my foot in the door, it was just a matter of time before I took over the world of sports entertainment. Every step, a battle. Every opponent, a new face who felt they were superior to me. Every match, giving me a new objective to strive to meet. Should I try to weaken their legs? Throw all of my aerial techniques at them? Maybe surprise them with some defensive lucha libre? Take it to the outside? Show off my newest move? By the time I got to the ring, I always had a little mental list of things I wanted to try in order to win. And with every victory, I got another reminder that the best was yet to come. After winning WCW's Cruiserweight Championship, Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship, and the World Tag Team Championship, I would finally head to WWE to further build my legacy. In the near 20 years since I debuted in WWE, I have become known as quite simply the greatest luchador in sports entertainment history, mm -hmm. the greatest mass superstar of all time. Ray is the king. Having competed against every big name possible and having defeated nearly everyone that stepped in my way, not every road is paved with gold, and mine was no different. But even when the road gets challenging, there's always opportunity. The opportunity to learn from mistakes, to grow as a competitor, and to get better. I may not have had my hand raised every time out, but there's never been a time where I didn't leave the ring better than when I entered. True. True that. True that, Ray. Alright. 
Oh, I can... I'm going to turn the subtitles on. I didn't even think about that. Alright. So, now we're going to get in to this match with Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Eddie Guerrero. Now, hopefully I don't mess up, but I just got to get used to the button mashing. I'm so used to just, like, using, like, the, the you know, like, the, with the previous 2K games, the meter, the kickout meter. I'm so used to doing that. I'm not used to doing the button mashing. So, freaking, I've played through this a little bit before, but... I got stuck, and I always lost the match to Eddie because he'll pin me, and it will be hard for me to kick out. But I'm going to try to do it. <sighs> Please let me freaking do it this time. The memories behind the infamous match of Halloween Havoc 1987, which I truly believe is a match that put me on the map. I was a big fan of Eddie growing up, so to be able to forward all these years and then eventually share the ring with him was incredible. It was an honor <coughs> to face one of the Guerreros. Overall, that match was highly important for me. The fact that I could become Cruiserweight Champion that night and defend my mask, not have to be unmasked. You know, that was something that was really in the back of my mind. I just didn't want to go through that. They were trying to take off every luchador's mask one by one and i was on the list so you could only imagine the stress that had built up and for us luchadores it's a very prized possession you know this is something that i've carried since mm -hmm. 1992. we both know eddie and i what the mask means to us that carry it so he knew what was at stake i would never give him the satisfaction of taking my mask never which you shouldn't. That is part of your your identity, you know. Okay. <sighs> I worry we gotta do the combos. Okay. While standing in front of an opponent. Press circle to grab them and then then square to perform a light grapple time. Time that Eddie always does. It's beautiful to see when you're not on the receiving end, but it sucked being on the other end of that centon. And seeing him taunt me, you know, it kind of boosted me up. It fueled me up to keep going during that match. Alright. Before we get into the other objective, um, I just gotta say, I just gotta talk about this, because I know everybody's talking about this, because it's a new feature that they added in this game for this year. Alright, so you know how, like, when it went into a cutscene, that little cutscene in the game, and then it switched over to the actual match? That is pretty sick. That is the first time that they ever did that in a 2k showcase and i think they did a phenomenal job they did a phenomenal job like pinpointing and like really like timing that right like it's pretty cool that you see the the cutscene and like the game and then it like it trans it transforms into the actual match and then it will trans back over to the game the the game cutscene then into the gameplay that is pretty sick of how they did that sorry that I just had a freaking um, I just had a comment about that because that that is phenomenal they did a good job doing that props to you 2k Good job. Um, but okay, so running at a standing opponent, press circle to perform a front running grapple attack. Oh, 
quick. It didn't allow me. Didn't allow me to reverse. Come on. Frick. I gotta get used to this. Alright. Successfully took. Okay, yeah, I gotta put him in the corner. And of course. Staying those in the corner press. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nope, frick. Get back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him get back in the ring. So I need to, I need to put him in the corner. I'll put him in the corner. Eddie, get back. Get back in the ring, my guy. Get back in the ring. Damn it! Can I? Irish whip him into the corner, please. Into the No! Frick! Come on! Come on! Come on, Ray Ray! Come on, Ray Ray! Corner! Corner! I said corner, not. Ah, oh, for the love of the Lord. I'm trying to get him into the corner. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. No! For the. Mm. Mm. Come on! No! No, 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 Oh my lord, can you allow me to reverse, man? I need to reverse. Thank you. Why can I Irish whip him to the frickin'... Oh my lord, this is making me mad. I'm trying to Irish whip him into the corner. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Just gonna do this. Okay. So, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. I thought opponent leaning does against the ropes. Oh, yeah! Wait! Oh, yeah! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Come here. Damn it! Mm, damn it! You stop it! Stop it! Get your get get up, Eddie! Okay. I need to get him into the because he's okay. He needs to get back into the ring. Frick! Can you not reverse my moves, my guy? Frick! I, I, I didn't time that. I did not time that. Perfectly. Come on! I just need to... I reverse that. I reverse... Get your paws off my mask, Eddie. Like, seriously, my guy, get your paws off of my mask. You're not getting it. Sorry about your luck, but you're not getting my mask. 
Okay. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, frick! I, 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 I did the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing, didn't I? I... Jesus, Lord, I mercy. Oh, bro! I need. Oh, I'm, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Me bleeding. Can I just? Ah. Okay. How do I do it? And then, oh, okay. Circle. And then hold. Okay. An opponent leaning goes against the ropes. Press circle to grab him and then right from the ropes. Okay. There you go. While standing in front of an opponent, press circle to grapple them and then circle and then reserve to perform an Irish right. But then I get a drop kick on the back of my head. I was starting to really wonder if I'd be able to win this thing and was. Alright. Successful attack, grapple, or. Dive at your opponent to cause the big damage. Cause big damage in the ring. While on the top turnbuckle, an opponent standing in the ring. Press. Uh, 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 yeah. Press square or X to form a diving attack. Tip. Press up on D pad to perform a wake up taunt. Or a gr on a grounded opponent. No, for for a grounded opponent. Really getting desperate. Break. I need to get up. Check. Come, uh, now mix it up and use a grab combo on Eddie and the ring. A grab combo. Check out the combo screen to see them all. Combos. Grab. Um. Excuse me. Okay. So. <coughs> I can do square, square, x, circle. Will that work? Square, square, X, circle. There you go. With the opponent standing dozed in the corner, press square to perform a front light corner attack.
Marcus. Respect. While staying in front of an opponent, press circle to grab them and then hold circle and then the Okay, to the ropes to hammer throw upon it to inside. I reversed that. So, if I have an opponent press, it's going to grab them and then hold. Circle. Okay. So press towards the ropes and then press square while running. At a standing opponent at ringside to perform a running dive attack. So, okay. Press towards the ropes and then are running. Ah, hold up. Okay. Um, I didn't, I didn't do anything. Right. Okay, frick. Press. Press. And press. Attack. Bro. Uh, I'll get it. I tried doing that, but it won't let me. Why can I do that? Bro! Standing upon it. There we go! Finally, I did it! <laughs> While standing on top rope and opponent standing, press X to perform a diving attack. Press. Okay. Do uh, no, I gotta wait until he's in the ring? Nope. Okay. While standing in front of an opponent, press circle to grab them and then square to perform a light grapple attack. So. Standing press okay to grab him. Ah, oh, finally, I did it. All right. So we unlocked. Uh, we unlocked some stuff. We unlocked Halloween Havoc. 
And then we unlocked the championship. We unlocked the Halloween Havoc attire for both Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And stuff. There we go. Um, that's going to do it for this this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give a big thumbs up and subscribe. And we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a lot more of the showcase like later on. There's still a lot more that I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna I still need to do uh I need a I need to create my superstars because I wanna create a female and a male superstar. So I can play both the male and female, uh, my rise, um, my, my rise thing with the career. So that's going to still be coming. That's going to be in the next episode and the next video that I do. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, um. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.